All right, we are showing you start to finish what we were to do in class today. We are making sure that we're getting very good at about having these things across the bottom off. However, realizing sometimes this thing needs to get found right along the bottom here. So we're going to see whether we run out of space or not. Going into the model, all we wanted to do is learn to use a few tools learn a little bit about cross sections and so here I have my plan here we want to really learn how to use like layer freeze to select certain things we want to learn how to use layer isolate to isolate certain layers I'm going to go once again layer freeze to turn layers off we want to learn to do layer manager a lot L man we want to learn to make views V I've got some views set already set here and we want to learn that we don't want to have all these things off all the time or all of them on all the time. So I'm going to go to Layer Isolate. One of the biggest things you're going to want to learn to do is settings. Sometimes you want them off. Sometimes you want them not off. So I'm going to Layer Isolate the edge here and the sidewalk. So right now I've got a good depiction here. The task after you make you know, your tin is to do an alignment. You do that by doing lines and arcs that are in 2D dimensions. Lines and Phillips, I would recommend that you just do these things by PI to PI. And we can talk about learning and relearning what tangent, sine, and cosine are in both the left and the right hand coordinate system and what you're doing. But learning that you're doing your alignments from PI to PI and then backing up to your PCs and PTs is going to help you to avoid station equations or help you make use of them. So I'm going to go ahead right now and think proactively about doing a proposed layer. As I do my drafting, I'm going to go with P align base. It's off. So now I need to turn because it was isolated. I might want to go back to now the layer manager. Layer, I'm typing layer. P align base and I can turn that on. And now it's on, so I can now, you never want to draft on a layer that's off, so now I can do line. And you want to learn how to go perpendicular from or to perpendicular to there. And then learn right away, left click, spacebar, rotate 180. In other words, I know that I'm coming out of that, and I'm going to go now here, line from here, perp. I know I'm going into that. So now when I just go ahead and do the rest of my lines by going, makes mine a little more simple this time, and then say fillet radius zero, and then polyline edit. These are all transferable, yes, and join. They're all transferable from last semester. Now you have a polyline. If you really are good, you're going to list it right now and write down this length, because that should be the length that you end up with, 320. We don't always do all these things. At this point, you have a polyline, and you want to go to alignment. And I messed up in class. Very often, you're going to be doing the alignment creation tools, but you're going to create alignment from objects. You're going to grab that. Check that it's going in the right direction. You should have something that pops up, looks something like this. You give it your number and some capitalized and underscored description. I began mine at 110.00. You want to get, if you have a site you want to put it here, you want to turn off the curves from tangents. I'm going to go. You want to select something here and hit OK. And what you're seeing is because of the layering stuff, you then are going to want to turn everything on and thaw everything. So unlock. And so what I was doing in class is minus LA, T star, on star, unlock star. Now I see that my alignment does come in. So you'll start to see that very often now you might want to save a layer state that gets rid of some of the other stuff. So I can go back now to freeze. Freeze that and that. And I really don't want that there. 
and I might or might not want there. And now I can do something like L man new and call it my design state. So you're really making use of a lot of layering, layer manager, and at this point you have your alignment defined, and you could put in curves any number of ways, but learning that you click on something here and then get to this ribbon across the surface here is an important one. You want to write down then what it gives you in terms of its station control, in other words, where you began your X and Y. Lots of information here. You write that down. So you write down, and what you're doing when by writing down, you're trying to get it in your head that this goes from a station to a station with a length, 320.635. I'm going to hit cancel here. Once again, click on there and go to Geometry Editor. The Geometry Editor toolbar looks something like this. You can go over here and look. And at this point, I'm going to try to minimize that. Because this starts to give you this information that you can right-click up here, and you can see that you can start to turn curves and the like on. You're going to see as you right-click, there's a lot of particular information here. Uh, the number of the curve, right click, start point, right, start point, end point. So right click is going to fill out that information. What you'll then do over time is you're going to go ahead and back in, you're going to go ahead and for hence fixed curve, floating curve, from radius, radius, floating curves, free fill between two entities, radius. I'm going to grab my first entity and my second entity, and I'm going to give it less than 180, and then my radius of 100 feet. I'll make mine 50 feet. You see how it fills it in. And this is going to really avoid, I'm going to make this last one really kinky. Bad choice of words. Five for my radius there, and then here and here, and I'm going to make that 5 as well. So now I've kind of designed something there. I'm looking right now at less than 6 minutes, start to finish, and now you've got, basically you have this information, you can once again look at it, and your stationing has changed because of some of the work that you've done. So when you grab on here, alignment properties, now you see that the length has changed because you've done all that. Now if you had done some things in the station equations and like you realize this is always going to be the case, it's always going to be shorter. Go back to your information here, I'm going to hit cancel. Once again learn to grab someplace on here. Geometry editor, that one there shows you where your editor, and now you start to see that information here. I might want to shorten up. I can double click in here and change the data, 40 feet, maybe make that 40 feet, and you start to see the kind of information that you can change through the data. Later on you're going to be able to pull these grips, but you really don't do that too much, undo here, in the vertical, in the horizontal. All right, you now have an alignment, you should know when you click on here, once again, the data. The end of it is 113.03. And you notice, once again, that keeps on changing. 113.03.65. So I know my beginning and ending, starting and elevation. I write those down. So I know my starting and ending elevation, and I actually write down a whole lot more as well. So I'm going to do that right now and let you know that as soon as you pick your station and elevation, you are not allowed, at least in good practice, of sticking it anywhere on the design plane. So what you're going to do is you're going to go through here and open up oh, a, a notepad. You're, you're accumulating skills, hopefully, accessories, 
notepad and you can now say something like line from what point one ten zero zero comma whatever your elevation is one oh eighty nine point oh and maybe your ending point is thirteen eleven and by looking at it this way, you'll be able to see it 11,300, comma, 1090.0. That's all you've got for this script file. Save as. Remember, you're using script files a fair bit. You're going to put it in the right spot. Not in the H drive. projects or wherever you're putting your stuff I'll just try it with, stick it right now in the survey and I'm gonna say for align probe of course you would have more names on this and dot SCR you're gonna see later on this is a common delimited we also use space delimited formats you want to get used to this actually being corrected 13 11 300 it's not exact because I didn't write stuff down I'm going to do file save you're now pretty much good to go but you want to put stuff on the right layer so you're going to bring that to a layer that's P underscore proposed or profile that's your current layer now you want to make sure that that is on and now you can do something like this script Bring it to some place you know where it's supposed to be. This is actually design data. And hopefully it brought it where it was supposed to be. Now, zoom center. Well, you started 11, 1, 1, 10, 0, 0, comma, 100. The height of 100, there it is, someplace where you wanted it to be. All right, that said, minus layer, T star, on star, unlock, star. So ID, the end point, that's about in the right spot. ID, the end point. But when you notice there, as I put it in, I didn't put that data in with the elevation times 10. So I can go back. I can erase this out. Remember, you want to put your elevations in times 10. So I can go back to start, all programs, accessories, notepad, file, open, star.star, .star, all files. Remember that you've got to put your elevations in in this format if you're going to tie to the 1 to 40, 1 to 4 in this way. If you're going to stick them in in regular Civil 3D, you do not divide by 10, but you really want to develop that sense dividing by 10. And now when you say script, open, you're good to go. And so place, that's in the right spot. Your final bit then, as you know, is to go ahead and do a profile, create a surface profile, add, do not hit the draw on profile view, hit OK. You get that data. Looks like that. And then you finally do profile view, create profile view. If you look at each of these, 110, that's good. You never use the same one, 1060. Create a profile view, create profile view of origin, 110000, 10, 10, and then finally you have to check it. These will always come in the wrong spot. It's predictable, but you want to go an ID, the endpoint of that, and you want to move it what? 1,000 to the left. So you learn to grab, left click spacebar, spacebar to the move, and say at zero comma, I'm sorry, at minus 1,000 comma zero. And then everything should all be laid in the right spot. Thanks for listening.